Hi, hello, welcome to Endless Nurses World. In this video, we will study about hyponatremia. Before that, we should know about what is the functions of sodium. Sodium, it is on electrolytes. So, sodium plays a major role in maintaining the concentration and volume of extracellular fluid. It is the main cation of the extracellular fluid. And sodium is a primary determinant of extracellular fluid osmolality. And it is important in the generation and transmission of nerve impulses. And it regulates acid-base balance. And it leaves the body through the urine, sweat and feces. The kidneys plays a primary regulator of sodium balance. In that, that aldosterone plays a part in sodium regulation by sodium reabsorption from the renal tubules. So, these are some functions of sodium. Now, we, what is hyponatremia? Hypo, it means decreased. Then hyponatremia is a serum sodium level lower than 135 milli equivalent per litre or 135 milli mole per litre. It means the sodium imbalances usually associated with fluid volume imbalances. So, the normal where serum sodium level is 135 to 145 milli equivalent per litre or milli asmol per litre. So, what are the common food sources containing rich in sodium? Bacon, frankfurters, lunch meat butter, cheese, canned food, ketchup, mustard, milk, processed food, snack foods, soy sauce and table salt. What are the causes of hyponatremia? Why the sodium depletion will happen in our body? The first one is increased sodium succulent excretion in some of the conditions the sodium excretions will be more in what are the conditions excessive diaporosis diuretics diarrhea vomiting wound drainage especially gastrointestinal kidney disease decreased secretion of aldosterone these are the some of the causes of sodium excretion what will happen the hyponatremia, hyperosmolality will happen because of this osmolality, shift of water out of the cells, it will lead to cellular dehydration occurs. Then second cause is inadequate sodium intake. So, we are not taking adequate sodium intake in, in case of in, in this condition fasting and low salt diet. Then third causes is dilution of serum sodium. In some of the conditions, the fluid dilutions will occur. Excessive ingestion of hypotonic fluids or irrigation with hypotonic fluids and kidney disease, fresh water drowning, syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion, hyperglycemia and heart failure. These are all the conditions the dilutions will happen. So, because of this dilutions, sodium depletions will occur, it leads to hyponatremia. So, what are the symptoms? What are the assessments? In cardiovascular symptoms, that does uh, vary in vascular volume. In case of normal volumic rapid pulse rate, normal blood pressure. In case of hypovolemic means decreased fluid, the pulses are thready, weak and rapid pulse rate, hypertension, flat neck veins, normal or low central venous pressure, hypervolemic, rapid bounding pulse, pulse, blood pressure normal or elevated, normal or elevated central venous pressure. Respiratory symptoms, shallow, ineffective respiratory movement, it is a late manifestation of hyponatremia due to skeletal muscle weakness. Neuromuscular, generalized skeletal muscle weakness that is worse in the extremities. Diminished deep tension reflexes. In central nervous system, headache will occur. Then personality changes, confusion, seizures, coma will occur. Gastrointestinal systems, increased motility and hyperactive bowel sounds, nausea, abdominal cramping and diarrhea occur. In renal, increased urinary output, intercommunity dry mucous membrane. In laboratory findings, that serum sodium level is less than 135 milli equivalent per litre and decreased urine specific gravity. These are all the some, some of the findings, assessment findings. 
So, what we will now we are coming to how we will manage hyponatremia. So, first we have to assess the patient conditions cardiovascular, respiratory, neuromuscular, cerebral, renal, and gastrointestinal status. So, in case of patient, hyponatremia is accompanied by fluid volume deficit, hypovolemia. We have to administer the IV sodium chloride infusions to restore sodium content and fluid volume. A hyponatremia is a fluid volume excess. In case of excess fluid volume, what we have to do? We have to administer osmotic diuretics to for the excretion of water rather than sodium. Then if caused by inappropriate or excessive secretion of ADH, medications that antagonize ADH hormone may be administered. Then instruct the client to increase oral sodium intake and as prescribed and inform the client about the food rich in sodium. And if the client is taking lithium, monitor the lithium level because hyponatremia can cause diminished lithium secretion resulting in toxicity. So, this is all about the hyponatremia. If you like this channel, you can subscribe to me and ring the bell button, you will receive my notification. Thank you.